Hey guys, Patton here. So, uh, recently I made a video on how to get the Metal Slug series to run on the SNES Classic. But unfortunately, I'll just start one up so you can see what I'm talking about. It, it does load up, you get the whole green screen, all that fun stuff. It's uh, unfortunately when you play the game right, right out of the box. If you want to call it that, you know. Um, these soldiers sweat when you shoot them. Now, I remember in my video I said, hey, you know, that'd be cool if you could actually see the blood. You know, it's got the whole Super Nintendo Mortal Kombat effect where they sweat instead of bleed. And I, I, that's not very authentic to me. I'm not, I'm not into the whole sweating soldiers thing. I mean, I know they're, they they're, they got the heavy uniforms and rucksacks and all that stuff. So, big, huge shout out to Matthew Squibbs for showing me a video on how to enable the blood on the Metal Slug arcade games for your SNES Classic. This is going to be great. And you might have noticed that, hey, where's Hackchi? We didn't start on Hackchi. Well, we don't need Hackchi for this. Well, I mean, you need Hackchi to put the Metal Slug games on your Super Nintendo. So if you haven't already, go check out that video so you can get Metal Slug on your Super Nintendo. Then come back to this video and enable the blood so you can play it in all its, you know, red glory. Maybe? I don't know. So the, the student, or no wait, the teacher has become the student. Yeah, teacher. You know how, like... <laughs> You go to art school and you're taught art in art school to be a better artist. I'm more like the painting with a twist guy, I think. Anyway, here's how we do this. Let's go into one of our metal slugs. Okay. Super easy too, which is, you know, I, I love super easy. You get the green blob. That means Neo Geo. Boom. Start no. So after you start up your game, go ahead and hit start and select to bring up the RetroArch menu. From here, you want to click quick menu. Go down to options. Now yours may look a little different from mine. You may see something that says Neo Geo BIOS. Ours is Force Neo Geo mode. Right now it's set to MVS. We want to change that to Uni BIOS. Then hit A. Back out with B. We're going to restart. And then resume. Restart, resume. This looks totally different. Universe BIOS. So you can tell we got something else going on. So once you have your Uni BIOS loaded, go ahead and hit the start button as well as the A, B, and C. Whatever you have mapped to A, B, and C. Right off the bat, I haven't changed any controller options. So it's going to be the A, B, and Y buttons plus start. And you get a little in-game menu. You may see the cheat database and be like, oh my, I was like that too. And look at all this fun stuff you have. So along with, you know, enabling blood, look at, consider this a bonus. Infinite time, infinite lives, invincibility. Go ahead and set those up if you want. Why not? You're there. That's not why we're here though. We're here to enable blood. So from this screen, you're going to highlight the soft reboot system. You're going to hit the B button which is actually the A in Neo Geo, to do a soft reboot. But right after you hit the B button, you're going to hold the Neo Geo B, C, and D buttons. For me, that is Y, X, and A. So you highlight soft reboot, hit B, hold Y, X, and A. Look at this. We're in our little hardware setup. And this is where you want to be. I don't know where that date came from. It is not January 1st, 1970. I can... 100% guarantee you that. Anyway, from here, setting up the soft dip, you're going to go to slot one metal slug. Look at all these fun options. You can change the amount of heroes, continue, turn it on and off difficulty levels. Some people have been asking how to change difficulty in games. Well, now we know how to do that in metal slug. Playtime and the blood. 
go ahead and hit the B button. Hit Y to go back. Down to exit. Let's take a look at the game now. Quarter up. Quarter way up. And hit that start button. Alright, let's see. I'm excited. Are you excited? You should be, because look! All the Kool-Aid you can ask for. Yeah! Oh, we got a pig. Heavy machine gun. Let's free those guys. What are you gonna give me? Another heavy machine gun, and that's fine. Look at this beautiful, the, the crimson shores. Excuse you, helicopter. I'm too busy. You don't have any blood to show in this video, so you can just... Goodbye. Goodbye to you. I'm gonna blow up some huts. And maybe kill some swimmers. There we go. We got him. So look at that. Let's check out Metal Slug 2. And you can do the same thing on all the Metal Slugs. I think I tested up to four. Or was this three? Excuse me. We're at three now. Metal Slug 3. I'm sorry. This one takes a little bit longer to load. It's a bit of a bigger game. We still got our cool, our cool menu here. Remember, start Y, B, and A. Soft reboot. You hit B here, then immediately hold Y, X, and A. Same exact thing. Setting up the soft dip. Metal Slug Three. Oh, but where is it? Where's? Just go to next. Blood, right there. You can also change the language if you wanted to. We don't need that here though. So let's take a look at Metal Slug 3 with blood. Who are we gonna pick? How about Aerie? She doesn't look weird when you pick her. She looks angry. Alright, we're on the beach. What are we gonna kill on the beach? Slimy crabs. Throw green blood. Oh, excuse me. Oh, but we got it. We we were the sacrifice this time. Game over already. That's some super hard move right there. They didn't mess around. That that was probably my fault. I must have changed some settings. So let's check out Metal Slug 2. What's interesting is when I was testing these the first times, Metal Slug 2 is when I noticed the, the white bothered me more than anything else. I guess it's just because of the amount of blood that was, um, yeah, see, I kind of messed up the difficulty on these. The amount of blood that comes out of these guys is like a lot. So it's a lot of sweat coming out of these guys. All right, so let's take a look at Metal Slug 2. X is nice also. How about, uh, Tarma? Okay. With the little bit of snot there. That's okay. Alright. Oh, there we go. The colors and the slowdown. That's Metal Slug 2. We, we expected a little slowdown with Metal Slug 2. I don't even know why, but we, we have it. These guys are blowing up. Heavy machine gun. Does not mess around. Goodbye, camel. Do, do it like a fan. Waft, waft your bullets into the air. Look at these guys. They think they're going to do something fancy. They're just going to sit there because we got some slowdown. Oh, we got chopped. Right in the arm. But that was enough to take us out. And a baby, of course. I still don't know. There must be something on the inside. I don't know. Whoa, that guy blew up. Oh, and these guys slice up nicely. There's a there's a head. We chopped the head off. So there you go. So real quick, one more time. You go into your game. You hit start and select to get into your retro arc menu as soon as the game loads. You're gonna go to your quick menu. Options. 
Force Neo Geo mode, if you're using the, the version of RetroArch that I include in my downloads, this is where it's going to be. But like I said, you might see something that says BIOS. It might be like down here. You can change that as well. You want the Uni BIOS. And just back out. Restart and resume. From here, you hit Start, Y, B, and A on the controller. You got your cheat database. On Soft Reboot, you're going to hit B, then immediately hit Y, X, and A. And then you have your little hardware settings. Setting up the Soft Dip. Metal Slug. You can change your stuff here. Turn Blood On. Back Out. And exit. It's that easy. That's how we get the blood on the metal slug. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Thanks again to Matthew Squibbs. You are the man. I still have your games to test on my list. Don't worry. I know you had a bunch. I'm working on it. But everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and enjoy metal slug with metal that slug. that crimson goodness. And I'll see you guys later. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter at Pat and Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.